Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Jesse, and today we're going to be making buffalo chicken cheese balls that are fake. Alright, so first off what you need is going to need this bottle of KO ketchup. It's the next evolution of ketchup. Uh, Alright, next up we've got to get a close-up of this one. Uh, this is actually a plant that is grown on the Jurassic Park Island. Uh, the manure that is used for it is manure from T-Rex and Velociraptors. Uh, they bake it in the sun for, you know, they harvested it for about three months. And then you get these little sprouts uh, and it tastes kind of like barbecue sauce. Oddly enough. Uh, this you don't actually need, but you do need pickles. Now with these pickles, what they do, the acidity in them will actually balance the fake chicken cheese balls. Because without this, your fake chicken cheese balls might actually taste like real chicken cheese balls, and we don't want that. So, adds a nice balance to it, it tastes good, and your guests will love it. Everything else is pointless. And another thing you'll need is brown sugar. It's good for food and good for snorting. Alright, so to start this mad process, you're going to need to grab the bacon that I told you guys that you needed to have. And what you want to do is just simply cut it into thirds. Now, it's easy to just lay them out next to each other, or on top of each other if you're really rambunctious. And like I said, about a third. If you want to use a ruler to measure it out, go right ahead, but I'm going to eyeball it because I'm better than that. So one. And two, easy as pie. Now what you're gonna do with the cocktail wieners, is you're gonna grab the bacon and the wiener, put it in, and roll it up. Rolling technique, oh, 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 tenderize me with the rolling technique. Oh, oh, tenderize me with the rolling technique. Tenderize the me with the rolling technique. So now you're gonna add brown sugar on top of your fries just like that and if you want to snort it too it's not recommended but some crazy things will happen now that you've wrapped your chicken cheese fries what you're going to need to do is put it in the oven for 325 degrees at 40 minutes so just like this Smokies are done. And uh, it's another show of cooking with Jesse. <laughs>